Abbeville was one of six communities to receive federal funding for improving recreational opportunities. With this funding, they plan to expand the walking trail. News 4's Jacqueline Lambert has more on this project. Reconstructing this multi-use trail is the last phase of a three-part project. I spoke to the city's recreation director who says the goal is to make this trail safer for those with disabilities. If you look at the current state of the Abbeville walking trail, it is not hard to imagine how hard it is to navigate for people with disabilities. When it was built back in the early 90s, uh, a lot of, it's had a lot of root damage. There's been some that's been had to be removed because of root damage and those kind of things. And so basically we're going to start over. Now the Recreation Department can address issues that would otherwise discourage those with disabilities from enjoying the trail, such as the uneven paving. Uh, this will be more ADA compliant with the grade and the slope of the, of the trail. So it won't be sloping off to one side or those kind of things. So uh, people will actually be able to use it in a wheelchair so they can actually get out and enjoy. Giving equal opportunities for everyone to enjoy recreation is a cause close to Barnes's heart. Uh, disabilities is something that's very, very near to me as with a child who is an adult now who is disabled. I just I enjoy being outside, so I think other people do, and that gives everybody an opportunity to recreate themselves. Construction on this trail is expected to begin this fall. In Abbeville, Jacqueline Lambert, your hometown news leader. The trail will have handicapped parking and other features for those with disabilities. Barnes extended thanks to Governor Kay Ivey for seeing a need to invest in recreation.